Hey, hey, today I wanted to show you guys my custom frosting cooling solution. So just to show you a little bit how it's working, uh, in the bottom below, in the console, I am printing out how many chunks are passing and how many are failing the frosting cooling uh, test. So if I turn this way, you can see hundreds of chunks are now loading. And if I turn back around, now it's zero and so on and so forth. But yeah, now that you see how it's working, uh, let me jump right into it and show you how this concept works. All right, so this premise works by checking whether or not a point is inside of a triangle. And I'll link this article in the description. And so you can just imagine here, let's say at point B is our camera. Well, we have this point here, point P, that is say the corner of a chunk. And we want to check if it's in the triangle. Well, how we can do that is if I draw three lines here, you can see these three lines from the point in the middle makes three smaller triangles. And if we add up the areas of these small, three smaller triangles, it equals the area of the big triangle. But if I have a point outside of it and I draw three lines here, well, I have the, the area of two triangles right here and one small triangle right here. And I add these three up. It's it's greater than the area of the big of this uh, original viewing frustum triangle. And therefore we know the point is outside of the viewing frustum and we can call it. So let's jump right into the code and I'll show you how I did this. All right. So looking at the code in my chunk manager class and my render chunks method, which is in the chunk manager.cpp file, uh, I am passing in my camera position and the orientation, the orientation being the direction you're looking in. All right. So looking at the code, uh, first I put the camera a little bit behind where the player actually is just so that way we can catch some of the chunks that are behind the player. But anyhow, starting off first we have I declared a rotate angle. Uh, I'm going to use that to determine where the player is looking. So if my camera orientation is looking this way, I'm going to rotate 70 degrees this way and this way. And if I extend this out, you can kind of see it makes like a triangle that we can use as a viewing frustum. So to rotate it, I'm simply using the GLM rotate function, and I'm doing that in the positive and the negative direction to get uh, both of our lines going in both directions. And next, I am going to get the two points from that rotation. So we kind of have a line right now from these rotated, uh, from this rotate function. And from that, we can determine a point based off of the camera's position and adding that to uh, the amount we rotated times the point offset, which the point offset is just how far we want the point to be. So I have the camera position right here. And I'm adding that to the point offset of 150 times this negative line. And I'll get a point like right here same in the positive direction and then we can use this add it all together and get the total area of the big triangle which is our viewing frustum Ooh, right here and to do that i have a special area method which i pass in my camera position and then both points of the viewing frustum so just to see how that method works right here uh i'm simply multiplying the points in this fashion, dividing by two, which if we look at the uh, example here, you can see I just took this formula straight from this page, pretty much right here, this right here. Uh, you can calculate the area of the triangle using this, and you can look at the math of that if you'd like, but you can use that to easily find the area of two triangles, or of a triangle. So now that we have the area of our big triangle, we're going to loop through all of our chunks, and right here I'm finding the distance of uh, each four corners of each chunk we loop through. And I'm doing that because let's say I am doing frustum like this. Well, if we have a chunk right here, this bottom left corner of the chunk is inside our viewing frustum, but these three corners are not. So I'm getting all four corners so that way we can make sure that at least one of the corners of the chunk is inside of the viewing frustum. And if I go down here, that's pretty much what I'm doing right here. Uh, all four corners, left, right, top left, bottom, top right. Uh, if they're less than the minimum render distance, let's say 150 blocks, we're gonna render it. Well, we still have one more check to do, but, so we're gonna check then if this chunk is actually in the viewing for us, so now that it's in the minimum render distance. So you, just to visualize this, imagine we have a circle around the player, our chunk's right here, our viewing for us is right here. So this is in the minimum render distance, but it's not, the viewing frustum, which is what we're going to determine next. So I'm going to get the total area of this point we have here from our chunk that we got. So I'm going to do the camera position and I'm just going to add 
point one and point two and add the area of all three small triangles. So I have our viewing for us from right here. We have a point here. We're just doing this again. What I'm doing here, if, if the absolute value of the area subtracted each other is about less than equal to five, I do five because there could be a little bit of inaccuracy in the multiplication and things like that. So less than five, which is a very little amount, we are then going to render a chunk. And if it doesn't, I just render it and I say that it failed. And at the very end, with my approximate colon logging, you can see I'm passing here with the chunk passed or filled or not. And that's it. Uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know then. And I'll see you around then. Bye-bye.